Hey guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. So I share my Xbox with a friend of mine, and he downloaded this game, so I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to see what he's been doing. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Uh, it's called Oxen Free. Uh, it sounds like it's some sort of country thing where I got to hook up oxen or something. All right, play. Night schools. Oh, whoa! This scared me. Well, it used to be a ranching thing. Then it was turned into an army thing. Then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Okay. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around oh, I can't time, talk to you, Henry Fonda. Seriously. Sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined. Yeah, it. like most companies do. Okay, so this is a weird start. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything oh. for like ten oh, minutes. Can, okay, I'm listening. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Oh, I can move her too. Thank okay, you. 8 p.m. All right. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> no, what happened? Okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. It worked uh, okay. That's downright adorable. Oh, yeah. Who are these guys? And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... Been oh wait, that's my brother-in-law. No, stepbrother. So and what does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin. He's my stepbrother. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even. A thing. <laughs> well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new. Uh, who's the, uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there? Uh, I guess yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush hush, but she's dropping us off. Okay, that never leads to anything good. Miscount on the way back, so we can spend the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, Paleozoic. grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato. Yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Toddler penis. Oh, funny. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Who's talking? Uh, wait. Who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh. We should get a quick picture. All of us. 102.3. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta Jonas. stand up. <laughs> like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's um. AIDS guy? That's not a good thing to say. Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, <coughs> so probably. Here's good. Come on. I never know when they're stop talking. Or, okay. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff. So all the warts. <laughs> hey, Alex. Yeah? You brought the radio. Yeah. Right? The little portable one. What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy, the, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters Was it is that she's going to something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. ...to take substantial pay cuts and use broken equipment. And that this it's a uh, to the left of the dial. Oh, be nice. 88. 88.3. If we miss it, I'll never hear the. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh, oh, actually, it's getting dark, it's a man. Little after ten o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddy. It's not ten o'clock. It should just said it was eight o'clock. For the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band. So hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Red-headed bedwetters. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Okay. What else do we do? Do we need some more water, is it? We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be What fine. is up with this guy? Secrecy. I guess it oh I get ah, I don't know what's going on yet. But it's pretty awesome. Oh look, it's Thomas Sanders, Joan, and Talon. <laughs> oh that's so cute. It's totally them. Alright, so this is a pretty cool game so far. Hit that like button if you think this is cool. Or hit that like button if you don't think it's cool. <laughs> Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. A uh, full pack? No, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex? You can bum one yeah, off sure. me if you're empty. Yeah. I don't smoke, so. Sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Being polite, you should try it sometime. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Do not s ah! Do not smoke. You Why does he right. keep looking at me? They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in flavor country over here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, Why okay. do they keep thinking about me? Yes. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. This is weird. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Okay, that's fine. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. That was, uh, that was Mike's room, actually. So, there wasn't that much to set up. Oh, oh. Um, I'm guessing I'm dead sorry. brother? I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> We're being polite here. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Wait, I want to ask about him being in jail. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Are we running? All right, let's go. She really is running. All right, I want to see what this is. Store. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's yeah. Kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they blocked us off at night since nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade. Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every Yeah, <laughs> okay. Let's go 
Find the best friend. Statue. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like one oh two point three? I just wanna see how it works. Uh okay, sure. I think they said Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28, 1943. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting Satan or dinosaurs or something. only submarine casualty. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Flatman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in America. Really? Parks and facilities on this. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. She's tall. Um. <laughs> We're running again. We're running. <clears throat> Damn. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so... What other guys and gals? You said it was just us. Read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal <laughs> They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think... Oh, okay. Wow, this is actually a pretty big map. Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean... Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. The bridge is out. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. <laughs> of course. Don't do drugs, anybody. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her rape. Dude just totally lifted him up. That was kind of weird, actually. Alright, so <laughs> we're gonna go party and do drugs and be stupid and and possibly get hurt. Oh, now it's 9pm, okay. Could have sworn the radio said it was 10. Oh, uh, before we get there... I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and, okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing. Oh, Jonas is just nervous about moving in with a strange girl in a strange town and fitting in and every stupid cliche you can think of. I'm not Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, 
I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. <laughs> You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? My uh, mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? What is she freaking out about? Had that tennis thing. And, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I did. <laughs> I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy... <laughs> and you, I just met. Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Okay. Wow, go to the beach. This is cute. I do like this game. Alrighty. Come on, what's next, baby? Well, I hope you had all had a great weekend. Hopefully school's not bringing you down. Life is treating you fair. Oh, they're leaving me behind. Okay. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Jason? We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> <You> Throwing <know, laughs> rocks. <laughs> and to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Truth or slap? Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get oh, come on. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Okay, that's... <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like... <laughs> that's, that's all. She's cool. She's... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on... <laughs> I'm kidding. Relax. 
Last I heard, he's still pining for Lindsay, his secret Canadian girlfriend. Yeah, well... Ooh, I, I think he's gay. So I think he's gay. Come on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Lay it on me. Oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So I'd marry Clarissa. Clarissa. Why, thank you. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I do, Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was going to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. Oh, did we? <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. That's pretty evil. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuff? Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? I heard a little rumor somewhere that you've maybe possibly been to jail? No, I've never been to jail. Really? Nope. Not yet. Knock on wood. Oh. Well, that's good to know you won't fashion my toothbrush into a shave. <laughs> I guess. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great, this should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since, God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I death. knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Ha <laughs> turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. Is there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, uh, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is. Why'd your parents get a divorce? I... Just so Jonas can hear it from I you. I don't know. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got it. You a... know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, Clarissa. You... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could. And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab you if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very uh, clingy, Ren. <sighs> <sighs> Jonas, you're a strapping man, Yes. Lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just yonder. Uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this here. This is a great little game. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh, they went to that weird carnival. 
<laughs> How do you even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. So what happened? They just, it was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks and they like, <coughs> she wanted something like a named thing. Oh God. Yeah, like, like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. <coughs> and they basically got kicked out. Excuse so me. they didn't even get to see any of like the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, of course that's how it went. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. When was the last Stop time talking. <laughs> There we go. We will see you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Be safe, my friends, my rainbow friends. Have a great day. We will see you next time. Be, be safe.